Here I'm going to do example number four from the chapter lines and angles. As you can see, a figure is given and in this figure, we can see that here uh, two lines are drawn and these two lines are parallel. One is PQ and PQ line is drawn parallel to RS. And these two lines are drawn parallel. As you can see in the figure, these two lines are drawn parallel here. Now let me draw this line first. All right. Now these two lines are drawn parallel. Further, you can see in this figure that uh, there is two angles given and the measurement of these angles are, one is uh, this angle that is uh, 35 degree, other is this angle which is given as 40 degree and we have to find the measurement of this angle. Now, as you can see from the figure only that uh, uh, whenever there is a two parallel lines, there is always a transversal that is needed in order to use the properties of parallel lines like co-interior angles, alternate and corresponding angle. So since we do not have this, so we'll be making one transversal and that uh, instead of making a transversal, first we need to draw a line and the line should be drawn in such a way that it is passing through M and is parallel to any of them, say AB or PQ. Let's say for example, I've drawn a line, this is, and I named it, a, B, right? That will be a part of construction. So in the construction, you will be writing through M, draw A, B parallel to P, Q. As you know that uh, two lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other. So these three lines becomes parallel. Now, we can say in the first part, considering the first two lines being parallel, that is P, Q parallel to A, B, we can clearly see that here, this is acting as a transversal, right? this being a transversal. So therefore by co-interior angles, these two are, will be supplementary. So we can say that, that is angle X M P plus the other angle M X Q will be equal to 180 degree. Now we have the value of one angle. So we can find the other, this is, uh, 135 degree is equal to 180 degree. Now transposing 135 will get angle X, M, B should be 180 minus 135. So it will give you 45 degree. We got this angle X, M, B. So once we get this value as 45 degree, now you can check. Considering these two parallel lines, we can clearly see that this and this are forming alternate interior angles. That is this and this angle are forming alternate interior angles. It is clear from the figure that these two are making an alternate interior angles and alternate interior angles are equal. So we can straight away right here, that is angle B, M, y is equal to 40 degree and that is from alternate interior angle. These were supplementary from the co-interior angle and these are from alternate interior angles. Now we need, if, I, if we know this value, we know the value of this angle as 40 degree and other is 45. So clearly the sum of these two angles uh, will be 85 degree. That's again, it's very clear from the figure. We can say therefore, angle X, M, Y, which is the sum of these two angle, which is 45 plus 40, that is equal to 85 degree. This is what we were asked to find out. So we got this angle the required angle as mxy, xmy is equal to 85 degree.